of the NYPD leadership, FDNY Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh, Public Schools Chancellor David Banks, Department of Buildings Commissioner Jimmy Otto, Department of Sanitation Commissioner Jessica Tisch, Department of Transportation Commissioner Yadonis Rodriguez, Department of Environmental Protection Commissioner Rit Agawal, Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs Commissioner Manny Castro, Housing Preservation and Development Commissioner Adolfo Carrion, Mayor's Office of Community Affairs Com Commissioner Fred Kreisman, New York City Health and Hospital Senior Vice President and Chief Quality Officer Dr. Eric Way, NYCHA Executive VP of Operations Sup Support Services Keith Grossman, MTA CEO General Lieber, Con Ed President Match Ketschke. So first I'd like to uh, introduce Mayor Adams. Thanks so much, Dean Levy, and I'm sure there are many questions uh, that uh, need to be answered. Uh, all of us uh, felt in some way or another uh, the earthquake that hit our city uh, around 10.23 a.m. Uh, we felt the impact of this 4.7 magnitude er earthquake. The epicenter uh, was in Lebanon, New Jersey, about 50 miles from New York City. Uh, and as you know, this is a developing uh, situation uh, where you always concerned about aftershocks after an earthquake. But New Yorkers should go about their normal day. Uh, first responders are working to make sure the city's safe. And one thing we do uh, so well in our city is bring together all of the agencies that are involved and our partners in other entities, uh, everything from the MTA uh, to uh, the Department of Buildings, uh, the parents who are concerned about uh, their school children, uh, Chancellor Banks, uh, would be here to report on that. But we say over and over again, the safest place for our students, uh, we believe, will continue to be in school. At this point, we do, do not have any reports of major impacts to our infrastructure or injuries. But of course, we're still assessing the situation and we'll continue to update the public. We're in touch with the White House, the governor's office, and local elected officials. And I encourage New Yorkers to check on uh, their loved ones to make sure that they are fine, not only from the infrastructure damage, but this could be a traumatic moment for individuals going through uh, an earthquake. And if you feel an aftershock, uh, drop to the floor, cover your head and neck, and take cover under a solid uh, piece of furniture next to an interior wall or in a doorway. And so I want to thank the emergency staff and first responders uh, for their work to keep New Yorkers safe. Uh, earthquakes don't happen every day in New York. Uh, so this can be extremely traumatic. The number of texts, calls, and inquiries uh, that people uh, sent out to not only our administration, but to family members checking on them. Uh, we know how this can impact you. But we're ready for the unexpected. This is New York City, and we respond accordingly. We will continue to update New Yorkers as we get more information. And I will now turn it over to uh, Commissioner Isco. Great. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you to my colleagues uh, for their quick and speedy response to this. Uh, I'm pleased to report that there are currently no, impact, no major impacts or safety events related to this earthquake. We're asking all New Yorkers to call 311 to report damage uh, or any uh, issues that you're having. Um, also, if you have any need for disaster assistance uh, due to damage or anything like that, please call 311. That is the best place to, uh, to refer those, those needs. If you have a life safety issue, uh, please use and call 911 immediately, but preserve 911 for those life safety events. Uh, the team acted immediately. We convened an immediate, our emergency response teams and issued guidance to the public. Uh, the likelihood of aftershocks remain low, uh, but we do remain vigilant, and we ask all New Yorkers to remain vigilant as well. Uh, we activated our protocols for this earthquake. We immediately started coordinating with all city, state, federal, and our utility partners. Uh, public notifications were sent out both by Notify NYC and our wireless emergency alert system. You can hear some of the phone buzzings um, in delays from that that have been issued. Uh, as soon as it happened, we convened here at New York City Emergency Management uh, in order to be able to send out guidance. Uh, 
Uh, we activated, um, as soon as we convened here at NISIM to send out our guidance for what happens during an earthquake, including on the possibility of aftershocks. Uh, we contacted our city hall and agency commissioners, as well as all of our partners at the federal and state level. Uh, that also includes all of our utility partners, our transportation partners at the MTA, Port Authority, uh, and the airports. Uh, while there is a low likelihood uh, that there will be aftershocks, uh, we always want to be uh, on the safe side. So if you are outside during an aftershock, please move to an open area away from buildings, trees, and power lines. Uh, if you are driving, pull over to a safe location. Uh, we're asking people to check in on their relatives, on their loved ones, uh, neighbors, especially the children and the uh, and their uh, other individuals. I think that this is also an incredible time just to remind us all to make sure that we're prepared. So if you are a New Yorker, uh, if you're visiting New York, we encourage you to sign up for Notify NYC. This is available in 14 languages, including American Sign Language, over a million subscribers. You can sign up by calling 311, you can call up by downloading the app, or by going to nyc.gov backslash notify. We also encourage people to make sure that they have an emergency kit and to make sure that they know the guidance for earthquakes, which as the mayor said, uh, to drop cover uh, and to get under um, furniture, sturdy furniture, or uh, in a doorway uh, to make sure that you are safe. Uh, please also make sure that you're checking your util utilities, that you know how to turn them on and off, um, especially if you are a property owner. With that said, who am I turning it over to? Chancellor Banks. Chancellor Banks. I'll turn it over to Chancellor Banks uh, for an update on the schools. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so the earthquake was felt um, across the entire uh, city and across uh, many of our schools, uh, uh, across all five boroughs. In fact, I was at LaGuardia uh, High School at an event um, uh, this morning when uh, the earthquake hit. I did not personally feel it, but many people in the room uh, felt it. Uh, so first and foremost, what's most important to understand is we want to emphasize that we've received no reports of any injury um, to staff or students. Uh, and that's the most important thing, and safety is our top priority in ensuring that everyone uh, is safe in our schools. Immediately following the earthquake, our teams, both within New York City Public Schools and across the city, immediately jumped into action. Uh, we've been in close and constant communication with City Hall, with the Office of Emergency Management, School Construction Authority, and other agencies as well. So at this moment, the, there is no indication that any of our buildings were compromised. Uh, and our facility staff at the School Construction Authority are quickly and thoroughly inspecting buildings to ensure a safety. And out of an abundance of caution, we've assembled all of our building response teams as well. So we've instructed all of our school principals um, to continue operations and dismissal as normal. We ask the school staff and families to remain calm and to model that for all of our students, all of our children. Parents do not need to pick up their child early as a result of today's earthquake. Additionally, all after-school programs will continue as planned. If conditions change, our schools will communi communicate directly with families. We also will post updates on our social media pages, which can be found at NYC Schools. I want to thank all of our school staff and our facility staff for keeping our students safe during times like these. Their professionalism in the face of an emergency is a role model for all of our students. Again, the top lines, all of our students across the school system are safe. All of our staff are safe. We have no reports of any structural damage to any of our school facilities, while many schools in, felt, in fact felt some tremors uh, from the earthquake. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Chancellor. Next, we'll hear from Buildings Commissioner Jimmy Otto. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Uh, let me say uh, right at the outset that we at the Department of Buildings have not seen an influx of calls regarding uh, building damage, uh, but we want all New Yorkers to know that our, our team is ready. We are putting on additional uh, construction and engineering professionals uh, from this point on over the weekend. Uh, so if reports do come in, uh, we will be ready to respond. Our construction enforcement unit 
is out doing inspections similarly, similar to what we do prior to big storms. There are 1.1 million buildings in the city, which means we need cooperation from construction professionals. We've messaged that to them, but let me take this opportunity again to remind all of our construction professionals, you need to go out and check on your buildings, even if those sites are closed and, um, if, and determine that the sites are secure. And if you see any conditions that are troublesome, please uh, reach out to the department. Uh, this is a time for that tried and true saying, if you see something, say something. So to New Yorkers, we at the Department of Buildings are concerned about some of the downstream possibilities, cracks that you might see that, that may materialize and manifest in a week or a month or um, scaffolding, uh, retaining walls. If you see something that is problematic, please call 311. Uh, this weekend, we will have uh, an increase in our emergency response team. We've mobilized our borough operations and our special ops folks so that if our sister agency, the fire department or any of our um, partners in government or the public uh, report an increase in locations, we are at uh, the ready uh, to respond. Thank you, Commissioner. Next, we'll hear from Con Ed President Matt Ketchke. So thank you. So for our energy delivery system, energy infrastructure, there were no impacts from this event. Um, we continue to monitor them. Our critical energy infrastructure is continuously monitored. During the course of the event, we saw no change in status for our energy infrastructure. Um, we do have um, a series of protocols for after another quake event. We have initiated those. Those involve inspecting our critical facilities and working through all our facilities for inspection. Those inspections are ongoing. We haven't identified any issues. Um, in the case of an earthquake, one of the things that from the energy side we would be concerned about is the potential for gas leaks. So I encourage if you smell gas, either call 911 or 1-800-75-CONED and report the gas leak. Do not assume that somebody else has reported. So if you smell gas, call us or call 911 immediately. Otherwise, we'll continue our inspections and all looks good. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Next, we'll hear from MTA CEO Jano Lieber. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, Mayor Adams and Commissioner Iskell. I want to reassure New Yorkers that the, the service on the transit system, all aspects of the transit system, maintain continuously operating safely throughout uh, the incident and has continued right to now. Um, I've been in touch with the president of all the MTA agencies, starting with Bridges and Tunnels. Kathy Sheridan, the president of MTA Bridges and Tunnels, is here, but also New York City Transit, Long Island Railroad, and Metro North. Initial inspections of all the facilities have been completed, and there are initial further inspections ongoing, emphasizing that the seven bridges operated by MTA have been uh, inspected, and I want to emphasize those were designed to withstand much stronger uh, seismic impacts than we experienced today. Our frontline staff across the system have been instructed to report any abnormality, abnormalities. There have been none uh, so far flagged. And of course, we're going to continue to monitor the situation very, very closely. We have an open communications bridge with all of our MTA agencies to report, as I said, any abnormality that they encounter. So far, the uh, the input on that has been zero. Um, we're going to let riders know if there are any impacts to service, but there are none. Just as the chancellor said, the school system is operating fully, uh, so is the MTA transit system uh, without disruptions caused by the earthquake. I want to thank Mayor Adams, your entire team, and also Governor Hochul, with whom I've been in touch, for their leadership uh, throughout this challenging moment for the city and the region. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, finally, we'll hear from Manny Castro from the Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs for, for a few words in Spanish. Muy buenas tardes. Soy Manuel Castro, el comisionado de Asuntos de los Inmigrantes de la Ciudad de Nueva York. Hoy estamos con el alcalde Eric Adams, los comisionados de varios departamentos de gobierno de la Ciudad de Nueva York para asegurar a los neoyorquinos que no estamos viendo algunos ningún problema en nuestros servicios, ya sea de puentes, de escuelas y otros servicios críticos dentro de la Ciudad de Nueva York. 
All right, we have been listening to a news conference there. Uh, we heard a moment ago from New York City Mayor Eric Adams, who essentially said that there were no reports of major impacts to infrastructure or injuries. We then heard from a number of other officials, including the school's chancellor, uh, essentially saying the same thing. This was an event that was certainly felt across New York City, but there have been no reports of injury, the chancellor said, to uh, the injury to staff or to students. Let's go ahead and turn now to our Errol Barnett in Brooklyn.